Yellowstone woke up to what has to be the worst crime in the national park's history. We're talking about a confessed murderer here, one who showed no remorse, no regret. are understandably shocked with the judge's decision. Imagine a murderer being allowed to walk the streets as a free man. But that's exactly what took place here today. The first victim was by the fire, and the second one, I don't know, maybe 10 feet from it. There was an incredible amount of anger. It took a, it took a while for her grief to set in. I just really can't understand how a man could commit all these horrific crimes and then just talk about it like he's reciting the details of a traffic violation. The loophole was brought up to me almost exactly 24 hours before he we went to the hearing. This crime could not and cannot be tried. I mean, we had a murder weapon, we had fingerprints, security footage, and a population screaming for justice. That's it, you gotta hear me, you gotta talk. How could somebody that was part of our community have gone so wrong.